It's no secret that Telegram can clog your phone's memory a lot. It's quite a common problem among users when one day they discover gigabytes of occupied space on the Pavel Durov's messenger. In this video, we're gonna figure out how to clear the Telegram cache and free up some space on your gadgets. And I will also tell you what you need to do to never experience this problem again. Sometimes the situation with the memory occupied by Telegram can get catastrophic. The messenger can sometimes store tens of gigabytes of data. Now you should know two main things. It's easy to solve this, and besides, even after cleaning the cache, you won't lose the files. Next, you're gonna find out what this magic is about. So if you suddenly find that Telegram has taken up too much space on your Android device, it's time to clear the cache. To do this, open the messenger settings, then click on data and memory and select memory usage. Telegram will then display a special window which is full of useful information. In the column device memory, you will get the main data, how much cache the messenger has, that is, takes up space on your phone. Whether the figure is large or not, anyway, clear it by clicking on the clear Telegram cache. By clicking on it, you'll see a detailed analysis of the memory usage, for instance, audio or video files. If you want a particular category not to be deleted from your smartphone, you can deselect it and then click clear cache. It could take a few seconds or up to a minute, depending on the amount of memory occupied. If Telegram really took up lots of space, I recommend doing it again, because sometimes there's a problem that the messenger doesn't do a full cleanup when you do it just once. iOS users can also clear the Telegram cache without any problems. To do this, go to Settings, then select Data and Memory, and then click on Memory Usage. At the bottom, you will see how much space the messenger takes up, and you can click on Clear Telegram Cache. A window will appear where you can select the file groups that you do want or do not want to delete, and then you can click the Clear button. iOS has its own special feature when deleting the cache, namely, you can erase the data of a certain chat. How much a chat takes up space you can see below on the same page. In order to erase the cache of a particular channel, group or personal chat, just click on it, then select the file groups to delete or save, and then click on the clear button. That's it. Clearing the Telegram cache on iOS is done. The PC version of Telegram also sometimes takes up quite an impressive amount of space on your computer, but you can clear the cache in the following way. Go to Settings, then select Advanced Settings, then below Data and Memory, click on Manage Device Memory, and here you can remove categories of files individually or remove them all at once by clicking Clear All at the top. I would also like to point out one essential detail. When you clear the Telegram cache, the downloaded media are deleted from your device memory but they will all remain in the messenger cloud and accordingly in the chat with the person, group or channel. If necessary, you can download them again. So now we're good with clearing the cache, and you can give this video a thumbs up if everything was simple and clear. But no less important is the configuration of data saving. There are a few vital things that you need to know, so as not to worry about your gadget's memory anymore, even if there's little space. I'll tell you all about it next. In the meantime, click the subscribe button if it's your first time on the channel. Here you will find everything about Telegram, new and relevant topics every week. Welcome! I'd like to point out that even if you've cleared the Telegram cache, that's not the end of it. In the same memory usage window, the messenger has additional settings to optimize your data storage. On Android, you can choose how long Telegram is allowed to store your data. You can choose from 3 days to permanently. I recommend to set the slider to the minimum period, that is, after 3 days, files that you didn't open on your device but uploaded to Telegram will be erased from the gadget's memory. You can do the same on iOS, but in addition, here you can select the maximum size of cache. If it exceeds this limit, the oldest media will be deleted from your phone memory. Therefore, I suggest you set the minimum size here. I would also like to say that setting the file storage time to 3 days does not guarantee it will clear the cache completely. Again, the messenger will delete only the media files that you have not viewed, but you will still have to clear your gadget's memory from time to time. But if you don't want to do this, 
and you have a device with very small storage, there are a few additional settings. In data and memory on both Android and iOS, you can set the parameters of media auto-upload. If you want your Telegram not to download data, you can disable this parameter both via cellular and Wi-Fi. But keep in mind that by turning it off, you will now have to download each file separately to view it, which can be annoying and inconvenient. Below in the same submenu, you can disable save received photos from all chat groups. And here you can also disable save edited photos. On PC in Manage Device Memory, you can set the following parameters Total Size Limit, Cache Limit for Media, and Cache Clearing Period. My recommendation would be to choose something around average values, but again, you should mind the capabilities of your computer. Let's sum it up. But before we do that, I want to remind you to support our channel, please. Just like the video or subscribe right now. This is gonna motivate us to make more content for you. The bottom line is, remember, you should clear the cache manually from time to time. I do it, for instance, every two weeks, or when my phone says that there is not enough storage left. If you want less cache size, you can set the values and data storage time, and if you want to avoid cache clogging, turn off media auto-upload and disable saving photos from different conversation groups. I hope this instruction was informative and useful, and that's all I have, it's the Teleblog channel. Subscribe to find out more.